Uh, well, first of all, I'd like to welcome everybody to uh, the second annual North Idaho Heroes Harvest uh, turkey hunt. And I think everybody's pretty familiar with Heroes Harvest, but uh, it was started by Mitch Vasquez a little over a year ago. He's, uh, he and I, well, he retired a little bit after I did, but we were kind of starting up uh, very similar veterans organizations at the same time. And, and we, we partnered up to, uh, about a year ago, and then uh, we were with different organizations. Just recently, we kind of came back together. But the mission is to get veterans, uh, active duty members, uh, Gold Star families out to enjoy experiences like this, hunting, fishing, just outdoor experiences. And it's gonna have, everybody's gonna have a little bit different experience. Uh, a, lot of veter a lot of people, as you know, a lot of veterans have different experiences uh, um, well, in, in their past and deal with a lot of demons and whatever, you know, whatever else they're dealing with. And if this could help just one person, if all these camps we do just helps one person not uh, take their own life, then it's, it's totally worth it. And I know for me, it's uh, just being able to get together with uh, a group of guys like this, it's helped me tremendously. Because when I retired, it was, it was tough. I just wanted to punch everybody in the face, Song Scott. It, it was tough just being away from, uh, being away from that environment. It, it's, it's really cool to see like these camps, like guys coming together and, and just forming these friendships. And like you said, the, uh, well, John from last year, another guy that came last year, former Marine, uh, he came over and, and hunted with uh, John White this year. And there's another guy that's on the West Coast that's a uh, fly fishing guru. So he's, you know, he's hooking people up with teach people how to fly fish so there's also you know just the connections are, are awesome the uh, the hunt we did in uh, Nebraska that one kind of had guys from all over the place we had guys from Virginia guys from Florida guys from Texas but uh, we hung out for a weekend and, and now they're like best friends so it's one thing about the veteran community we all get together and it's like you instantly have this bond and, uh, and you know within five minutes you're giving each other shit and, uh, and <laughs> making fun of each other so uh, yeah yeah <laughs> So it, it's 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 fun. It's, yeah. it's kind of what we're we're trying to do is kind of get this community uh, or form networks in different parts of the country and just build the community. So a lot of things. Uh, if you get a chance, uh, I think I sent out a link to the Heroes Harvest website. You guys blast that out because we can't we can't make these happen without money too, right? So uh, so if you can blast that out, any anything helps like five, ten, twenty bucks, ten grand, whatever. Uh, <laughs> No, but any, anything helps, so that kind of helps, that makes these camps happen too. But anyway, yeah, appreciate everybody being here. And, and I guess. Here they come, I gotta get out of here. Excellent, thank Chris, you. Nate, yeah. is that right? Yeah, Chris Batati. Good to meet you. Yeah. Morning, John. Who's Chris? <laughs> it all starts with coffee. Okay. It always starts right. with coffee. And people are coming this up. But like I said, this is, uh, this is the first priority right here. Right on. Like, came in last night, the first stop is Batati's coffee. Yeah. Okay. I'm a welcome Batati coffee guy. Uh, you just missed my dad. He's actually oh, on the way. Oh, you did? Okay. Perfect, okay. I'm trying to get away, but we're going to get around. Yes, okay, yeah. He's on his way out to the Boosted facility. Kill something.
pity you guys didn't pick that up. We just got a very distant gobble. Good news is we're going the right way. at that point, is it? <laughs> Gee. He's down there. He's way down there. No, he's not that far. Let's see if the gobble's gone. That's a different voice. It's a nice voice. Yeah. Sounded a lot closer. A bit. Or he turned towards us. Right. What's that slope like going down? Fine. It looks like a pretty good slope. Like it's easy. Well, of course. Why wouldn't we? We're here to kill. Let's get him. Let's go get him.
come in over there. Well, yeah, out of nowhere. Oh, that's that means he was, he was way off in the yeah. distance. He was strutting right by me at 10 yards, oh, full dude. strut. Oh, I was like, dang it, I let him go up the trail. Yeah. He was by himself. Right here. But this one, right? So where I set up, that little piece of shrub shit, right, right, in, front, right. right in front of me. I couldn't get like a clean shot. Like I could see the red, the, you know. Right. And, like, and then like, I'm just not taking it, you know? And then he skirted. He I must have saw me trying to along the edge. He saw me trying to adjust and then he kind of skirted. He put I could hear him kind of putting. I thought yeah. he was just. But it was quiet. It was a small voice right there. Yeah. What? The other one started straight up this trail. <laughs> he came in while I was up there, right into my voice. He was way over there. He yeah. kept running this way. So you think he couldn't like, get down to you guys without getting busted? So I oh, also guess you busted him out. No. Oh, no, no. Okay. He didn't see me. He started right past me. So we should. He's like, boom, boom, all the way up the hill. So we should make a move on me. Well, I'm waiting to see if he gobbles. Oh, yeah, he he never saw me. I oh, waited until okay. he was out of there. I could hear his feet. Before. So, the big voice, he, he, he uh, butted, kind of walked off this way. Because I think he saw some movement. But yeah, just, I, I kind of saw him. I got make a little move and he butted. As soon as he got up, he gobbled again. As soon as he was over here. Yeah, yeah. he gobbled over here and then that one gobbled right over there. That's why we're like, well, maybe. We'll Maybe we'll try to cut him in between you. I and thought you were still here. I was just going to try to come back down. The so. whole stuff could be the same thing opposite as mine. first started working this bird, but he was like on the next ridge over. He must have ran here. Love him gobbled back over there too. Yeah, this one, I could hear him walking. Yeah. I was expecting a shot to go off in Me too, I could hear him walking. Out of the I was, yeah, I was bummed because I, I even looked at you, I was like, I don't, before he came, or you said, I can see him, he's coming. And I go, this is gonna be tough because I, I, I don't have a clear view. I'm gonna have to move to get around if he comes up that trail. And I just, I barely even moved my shoulder. It's a very tight area. I just yeah. didn't want us going over there and shooting down the definitely trail towards that, that house. Yeah, no, no, no. Well, definitely not. It's not game over. No, there's still birds around. string though. Yeah. Pressured or not, he still had to walk away a little bit. Yeah. I thought he'd come right up the trail. He he pretty yeah. much did. Pretty much. Yeah. He did. It just was more of like a he came up if he if he hadn't I don't know, I mean he had to move to get a shot, what he had to do. It was but he's gobbling still. 
Yeah, but he's holding. Do you think, uh, what do you think? I'm almost afraid to walk again. Walk away again. Call another one in from the wrong way. I don't know where that guy went. Maybe he had a hand with him. Huh? Push up, change calls, or what? I'd say we're probably done here with that bird. Yeah, but we're not done here. <laughs> No way. That's no kind of jakes. how my season's been. No jakes. We'll, we'll fix your season. This is like... If, if we did this good, no, this I mean early, that, we still got a couple hours. Yeah, oh, we got lots of time. I'm not, I'm not worried. I mean, if, if they're as responsive as those birds were right there. Those are actually harder birds right now. Yeah, well, if that's it, then... If that's what you're saying, I definitely won't rush it. Don't. I was, I was expecting it to be over. Right I, it was all but, and I was just it was all like, but over, yeah. I was just like, eh. We were just surrounded. It took me. all the way not to. I even like I, I had that half pressure on the safety. Like, mm, can I bust through this stuff? And I'm like, ah, it's gonna go all out of whack. Thought I had him with the pine cone for sure. It was working. To this and see if we'll come around. Just get off this trail where everyone else probably calls from. I would agree with that. It worked once, but I don't think it's going to keep working. Yeah, Man, there are birds everywhere out here. We're just surrounded. Yeah, and I'm not, I'm, no, I know it's a shotgun. Well, I'm probably not even going to, it's never going to reach there. And that bird's going to have to be shit right there for me to be able to, to even take that yeah. shot. You know what I mean? Up here, no one cares if a shotgun goes off. I mean, you're totally in. I know. Yeah. <laughs> it's a great place to be. Played by changing. <laughs> Chainsaws, gunfire, and airplanes. Right here. That's what this is for. 
this. I'm gonna add it. That's good. That's good. Give me some fan, baby. That's what I always say. Give me some fan. <laughs> Chainsaws, airplanes, chickens from hell. <laughs> yeah, that's weird. Really Just down in there. There we go. Also, the strutter's walking behind you. So we're on the move. Tony, I think, has it nailed. What happened right now, Tony? Yeah, I think they winded us. Yeah. <laughs> for sure. Got us. Dang it. It's a Idaho birds, man. They got not only the ability to see, but they can smell you. I left that scent spray. Oh, man. <laughs> so I tell people, don't come out here. It's hard. Turkey hunting in Idaho is horrible. That's the worst, right? down the hill. They came from down here. The good news is they like coming up. He could have just made a beeline for us. There's two birds. This literally the back of his property right here. Uh, that way. That way more. Yep, but yeah. 
well, not too far. Well, how did a day go? You know, for low expectations in this area, lots of birds, definitely roosted. We had a very, very, very close encounter with a killable bird and got to learn where there's at least two guaranteeably roosted and very killable for the morning. Now it just comes down to rain. Well, what do you think, Nate? You coming out tomorrow morning? You gonna go kill that bird in the morning? I'll be awake. Uh, we'll see how the weather is. Yeah. Yeah. I'll wake up and give it a shot if it's worth worth a damn that out. I'd be sitting in a tree in here at 4:30. Yeah. Yeah. Get around and see it.